I don't want to say things I can't take back, but this is the best brownie I've ever had in my life. It really is. So this is Chris Baggett. What are you, founder, head brain? Yeah, I'm founder, um, CEO, okay. and uh, you okay. know, Captain Kirk. <laughs> when I was ordering our food, I saw like, okay, well there's the mug and there's Brewberg. I'm like, this is not that old school thing where a guy gets in a car and drives around to restaurants and picks up food for you. No, exactly, it's the opposite. I mean, that model is so broken. Yeah. Um, it's really hostile to the drivers, just for example, you know, whereas if I work for a company like Order Up or DoorDash or Grubhub, you know, I might be able to get two jobs an hour in. Right. If I am working for Cluster Truck, you know, I can get seven or eight jobs an hour in because I don't have to get out of the car. We had the food prepared. The customer's really happy with the driver. There's no restaurant to fight with. Where's my food? You know, there's all kinds of conflict in that model. It's really, really complex. Everything we do is data driven. So the way we're able to deliver in 16 minutes, the way we're able to time all the food so that that we don't start cooking until we know where the driver is. So everything is timed precisely. So when the driver shows up, the food comes out and it's delivered to you in five minutes. That's all technology. You know what's really uh, unique about this is we're a scratch kitchen. We make all our dressings in house. Uh, we grind our own fennel sausage for our Spartan pizza. We even have uh, fresh mozzarella. We just ordered some food and they brought it to the radio station and I, I kept trying to like, I had to explain like I'm not saying this just because I'm on camera, like this burger is remarkable. Look at that guy. Holy cow. I don't know if you've ever been to In-N-Out Burger or not, but people on the West Coast know what I'm talking about and they rave about it. This is the closest thing to an In-N-Out Burger that I've ever tasted. Yeah. It reminded me of like In-N-Out Burger, yeah. only higher Which quality. We got the mug bacon cheeseburger. Oh, yeah, that's the best. Well, it is. It's phenomenal. You know, uh, and then the Indy brownie was the, named the number one burger in India. The, and I, I would agree with that. Yeah. And then the brownie, I'm like, this is the best brownie I've yeah. ever had. And like this salsa, the charred salsa, spectacular. I'm like, I, I just felt like I was, it was real. I'm not lying. I'm not just saying that for the camera. It's really good. And so that's good. the thing that freaks people out is, like, when you go down into the kitchen, you will see giant pots of stocks, right? We make all our sauces every day from scratch, all our brownies every day from scratch. We have our own sourdough starter that we made actually on my desk over here that we use <laughs> for all of our sourdough English muffins. This is a high quality restaurant that delivers. You know, it started here in Indianapolis. I could really see other cities saying, hey, we need that too. Absolutely. We're already started construction on a facility down in Cincinnati. We're um, in, going to Columbus, going to Charlotte, going to Boston, going to Nashville. Those are kind of our short term hit list, you know, but yeah, we have a forecast for about 35 of these around the country. Not only is this spectacular, but there's some pride in it and that it's born and bred here in Indy. Exactly. You know, this is just another technology company coming out of our community, right? So it's exciting.